is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we're back with a brand new wwe elite series review on the wwe elite series 101 johnny knoxville yes that's correct that is not a typo that is not a misread information brad we have a johnny knoxville elite action figure from wwe and mattel and then we have the elite 101 ricochet figure very excited for both of these men updated ricochet with double jointed arms could you ask for anything more he does have johnny gargano syndrome which we're gonna have to address of course but here here is a brand new figure, pretty much molded head to toe, completely brand new. I see title in the box. I'm excited, man. I, I just, I, <laughs> years ago, watching Johnny Knoxville on Jackass on my television, having all the DVDs, watching it with my brother, and now to have a WWE Elite Mattel figure in my collection of him, honestly insane. And his match with Sami Zayn last year at WrestleMania was incredible. So incredible, in fact, that it thrusted Sami Zayn into the main event picture this year. That's obviously not correct. It's it's probably the tribal chief in the, in the bloodline, but you get the point. We have Johnny Knoxville here looking very good, very great. First time on the line, Johnny Knoxville on there on the side. He's there with his trash can lids looking good. The rest of the figures in the wave, we did review Cody and KO yesterday, so definitely get in on that. And here is Ricochet, man. What a beautiful specimen. I like it. I like it. I don't know if it's it's perfect. We're going to get into it, of course, but there's Ricochet, all the Ricochet stuff. Crossbody on the back. You love to see it. And that is our packaging for Ricochet and Johnny Knoxville. I'm not sure if these are up for order. If they are, you can get them over at Ring Side Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS, of course, to save yourselves 10%. But we can't get into the figures until we crack them out of their packaging, man. So let's shut the hell up, smash their boxes together, crack them open, and find out what these figures are all about. So here's Johnny Knoxville and Ricochet out of the packaging. I think I meant to upload this video yesterday, and I uploaded Mr. America and Sonya Deville instead, so I do apologize for that. But anyways, we're back here with Ricochet and Johnny Knoxville. Tons of great things going on with these figures, of course. They're not perfect in their own way. We're going to dive into those things and dissect the figures, of course. But what we're going to do first is dive into Ricochet's accessories and Ricochet, and then we'll take a closer look at Johnny Knoxville's accessories and Johnny Knoxville. Truly unbelievable, again, that we have his figure, and I'm excited to have a brand new ricochet i really am i think uh it, it's great stuff and this actually makes what our fifth ricochet elite which is honestly kind of mind-blowing when you put it all together nonetheless man let's go ahead and dive into ricochet's accessories and get into ricochet all right guys so for ricochet's accessories you're just getting a basic two combination of interchangeable hands and a beautiful championship i'm gonna be honest i don't know why i said beautiful i'm not like i don't hate this championship but it's not my favorite and like what is up with this championship i feel like you can't even see any of the design work am i tripping balls or what like can you make out anything on that like i see the wwe logo i can barely see the intercontinental it looks like a damn you know one of them plates that your grandma has you know those nice plates that's what the center looks like right it's got like the deviled edges on the sides or like the dented in stuff coming around that circle that's all that looks like i i don't even know like i honestly hate looking at this right now it's actually hurting my feelings and i can't even see straight and it's making my headache hurt it's making my head hurt i don't like it but you do have the wwe imprinted in the in the strap but yeah i don't i don't like the way this looks man i think my last version looked way better and i don't even know where that is but i don't like this this is not good oh yeah it's on my walter figure my gunther i'm sorry i still call him walter it's a much better name outside of that you get mike holding hands and the ricochet skin tone with the black hand tape and it has black pegs so you know we, we're always in support of that that always makes us happy and then what would ricochet be without his ricochet Kawhi leonard hand shaking entrance hands by god the og of of the ricochet hands the massive Kawhi leonard paws this some bitch has and he's got the black hand tape with the black peg which is always nice but you know that i like this for like hands on the hips i like but anything outside of that and maybe like a seth rollins like praying hands kind of deal i mean outside of that i don't really i guess or a knife edge chop hand but outside of that i'm over it all right man so getting into ricochet starting off with the head sculpt we do have a brand new ricochet head sculpt i don't think we've seen this on a basic or anything before i think this is a new head sculpt i like it you know kind of making like a smirk face i think it looks like ricochet i don't know if i like it more than his last elite but it looks good you know uh, you got a little bit of a thicker beard going on i think he looks pretty good here i think it gets the job done rather than you know crushing the whole entire earth with its likeness i think it's a damn good head sculpt it's just you know it's that I, I don't know you know i don't know i'm kind of on the fence here but we have all this tattoo detail going on it's a beautiful ripped up torso for ricochet one of the most ripped up shredded diced out dudes you'll see in wwe you got the double jointed 
and arms on there. All the tattoo detail, which is great. Black wrist tape, black hand tape. He does have like sort of the karate style belt going on right here. This is a new crotch piece we've never seen, so it's got the tied belt on there. I don't think, it doesn't really get in the way that I found, so it's like kind of soft goods, rubber material kind of plugged on there. I guess you could cut that off if it really bothered you that much, but I think I'm going to leave mine on there because I'm not a psycho. But spinning it around, you got the black and yellow belt on the side. It does say Ricochet right there. Very, very badass looking font. Got the black and yellow. Got the flames going down. Now, this is probably where everybody's going to be pissed off, and that is right here at the Johnny Gargano Syndrome. If you guys were unaware what Johnny Gargano Syndrome is, it's basically just giving people short kick pads. The only person that I'll give a pass to is Kevin Owens because Kevin Owens is kind of a different body mold. It's kind of a different thing going on with his figures when he has kick pads. He hasn't worn kick pads in a while, but it's where they give him the short boots here. Like, this is not accurate. Name some person that, that has kick pads like this. They should go all the way up to the lower knee or, like, right there where, you know, where your patella tendon is or right underneath your patella, you know, right about the shin bone because they are kick pads. It's to protect you when you kick people. Protect your shin so you don't snap your leg. You know what I mean? Anderson Silva. But you got some nice graphics going on. You got, like, the mismatch there. But overall, I think the figure feels really good in hand. His shoulders aren't stuck, which makes me just want to throw a fit in a good way. Tight waist, ball joint legs. He can kick forward really well. Like, doesn't hinder any articulation. You have an upper thigh cut. You get a double jointed knee, even though he does have Johnny Gargano syndrome. He does have boot cut, which is nice, but we're going to probably fix him up on surgery or something like that. But let's get into some Ricochet figure comparisons. Slide this back a little bit because it's getting on my nerves. So for your Ricochet Elite figure comparisons, we have almost every Ricochet I never found. What was it? The Network Spotlight. I never found the Network Spotlight for whatever reason, but we have the Elite 69, the Elite Top Talents, which is nuts that we had a Ricochet in the Top Talents line. You have the brand new Elite 101. You have my Custom from Mac Decals, and then you have the Elite 80 or Elite 80, yeah, Elite 80, I think. Ricochet. Very cool. I like that we have some color on this gear. The Network Spotlight's in black and yellow. I want to say I had another custom, but I think I sold it or something, but this is a very cool collection of Ricochets. They used to make them too tall, like these two are too tall. This one's actually height accurate, so that's nice to see. This one's too tall, too. So these two, the custom and the updated formula, are accurate in height. And then I have this fix-up Ricochet with black wrist tape, where he actually is uh, almost height accurate, but he's more accurate than the others. So I'm enjoying the Ricochet I like Ricochet a lot. I think he's super athletic. I, I think that, you know, he actually is a superstar when it comes to performing in the ring. Probably one of the best in-ring guys you'll find. Even though this figure has Johnny Gargano syndrome, I still think it's a badass looking figure and uh, I'm digging it right now. Now getting into Johnny Knoxville's accessories, you guys will notice that I have his head sculpt here and the reason I have his head sculpt here is so you guys can see the goggles on the on the head sculpt itself. So these are removable. You can take these off, but I like the paint detail right there on the sides. You got the red on the edges there and they do tie in the back, I guess, so they wouldn't fall off during the crazy match. But the goggles fit the, the head sculpt really, really well, and they're actually soft material, so they can, like, slide up, you know, if you want to put those like that, or maybe you can put them on a different character, but they are removable. You could easily just plop these off. So, you know, you can remove these, which is great. You know, you pull it off right there. So, the, these are actually really nicely made, and they go on very, very easy, so uh, props to Mattel for that, and they have, like, the thick lenses in there. These are nice. I actually like these a lot, so they did a great job on the goggles. And then he also comes with his claw cape accessory that does say Johnny Knoxville world champion and it's like in this white creamy style color and it does tie in the front now when it comes out of the packaging it's already tied in a knot like this and I undid it because one end of it came undone so it was one loop and then a string and I hated the way that looked so I went ahead and retied it if yours does not get messed up and it has the two loops leave it like that do not untie it took me like 20 minutes to tie this again and get it into this shape and it is uh, you don't want to untie that man so unless you have a specific reason to just leave it tied and then pop the head sculpt off sit the cape on and then put the head sculpt back on because you do not want to have to retie that it's a pain in the a so you know johnny knoxville world champ it looks accurate it looks accurate to the photos i've seen it's a great cloth goods accessory i like the inclusion of this i think it would have been cool to see two trash can lids or something like that we do have some accessories coming with Sami Zayn and elite 102 from their match at wrestlemania 38 so that'll be fun but yeah just be careful with the cape and outside of that he does have his interchange hands. He comes with mic holding hands that do have his tattoos on his hands, which are cool. You got like a little circle deal and then a little lightning bolt. And then on the other side, you do have the fisted hands. So you get fisted hands and mic holding hands for your Johnny Knoxville jackass figure. Alright guys, so getting into Johnny Knoxville, I wanted to show you guys the head sculpt without the goggles on there a little bit before I put the goggles on. I think it looks like Johnny Knoxville. I like the hair sculpt. I think it captured the shape of his head really well. Hair color, likeness, I think they nailed it to be honest with you. You guys can let me know. He kind of looks like my offensive coordinator from college when I played college football, but you know, 
what? That's, uh, that's besides the point. Let's put his goggles on here so you guys can see what it looks like with the goggles on because I feel like most people are going to display this with the goggles unless you're doing like a throwback Johnny, which would actually be really funny now that I think about it. I don't know how easy this figure is going to be to obtain. I don't know if it'll be hard or easy to come by, but it would be funny to see somebody make a classic jackass Johnny Knoxville with dark hair. Nonetheless, going down, this is all new sculpts, man. You have the JK on the chest there and the white for Johnny Knoxville. He's got his sleeves on here. I got a little schmutz right there on the sleeve, but all of this stuff is sculpted. Like, these are newly sculpted sleeves with elbow pads. You see the white on there. I'm pretty sure it's just a long sleeve, and he wore McDavid elbow pads over his over his shirt, but they just sculpted them on, which I think works better for articulation. We'll show you the, that in just a moment, but all these sleeves are sculpted. The shirt is sculpted. You guys can see it's a very similar torso to, like, James Ellsworth until you get down here when you have the T-shirt, like, tucked into this diaper shorts-looking thing, which, you know, he's supposed to look stupid, I guess, like, like he wanted to look dumb, so he's got like the you know the shirt wrinkles going on, new crotch piece and upper thighs right here with all the different sculpts and wrinkles in there. It looks very natural. They did a great job on it. He does have you know upper thigh cut. He's got like his pants sculpted. He's got knee pads sculpted in here. He does not have any pegs, and he doesn't have lower leg cut, but he does have like a shoe rotation. So it's similar to like John Cena down here. I would have liked to seen a sock cut or a upper thigh cut right there underneath the knee pad, but you know I guess it's not the biggest deal in the world. But he's got his white knee pads on here and he does have his Chuck Taylors or his red Converses and it's still the damn Cena mold man I really wish they'd go away from this but I don't mind it for the Johnny Knoxville I, I, I just want to see it on my Cena's you know I'm a big Cena guy so I'd like to see that you know change up but when it turn in terms of just this figure moving around he actually feels pretty good in the hand like his feet aren't falling over or anything like that he can kick forward I mean you got the upper thigh cut double jointed knee the knee's a bit stiff you know it's not great but I think it gets the job done I mean how much articulation is this guy going to be doing but waist swivel he's got very nice shoulders they're not tight at all like you know super stiff he's got bicep cut double jointed arm here I mean the, the figure feels really good in the hand which is actually shocking I just wish that he had a different shoe mold because I hate this shoe mold and it's not a Johnny Knoxville thing that's just a WWE elite in general all the ones that have these shoes like Montez Ford John Cena guys like that I hate that shoe mold man they get loose over time and they fall over but I am really enjoying the Johnny Knoxville I mean I if this was like a a different character. I don't know how much I'd like it. I just have always been a fan of Johnny Knoxville. I just think it's nuts that we have a Johnny Knoxville elite figure, and I don't know where he go. I guess you could make like a celebrity wing in your collection, but like another celebrity elite we got was Rob Gronkowski, but to be fair, I mean, he's a professional athlete. He's a Hall of Fame tight end. A lot of people call him the best tight end to ever play the game of football. I mean, Travis Kelsey, Tony Gonzalez, Antonio Gates, Jason Witten, guys that are kind of giving him a run for the money, but I mean, this is the best tight end of all time, not uh, some guy that just used a shopping cart and ran over people and got in a fight with Butterbean in Japan. You know what I mean? So there's lots of ways to look at this, but they're both technically quote unquote celebrities. I know Johnny Knoxville is absolutely a celebrity, but Rob Gronkowski is a celebrity, but he's also a professional athlete, one of the best athletes of all time. So, I mean, you have, there's waves to this, you know? So I just think it's a bit crazy. Um, and we have Logan Paul coming soon, which I would call a, a celebrity figure. I'm sure there probably is a couple more maybe out there, at least in the Mattel space is what I'm thinking of. I know that we've seen some from Jax, but I guess we'll We'll have to see. Uh, I'm excited though. I'm excited to see who else we get. I thought Bad Bunny might be coming one day. I know we have the, the Logan Paul Ultimate, which is going to be a hot seller even though it is Mattel Creations exclusive, but I'm all for it, man. I'm all for the wild one-off characters in the collection. I'm an action figure fan, not just a WWE action figure fan, so seeing one-offs and cool characters like this in the line, I'm all for it. I may not be a big fan of everybody that's included in it, but I, you know what I'm saying? I can talk about it. I just like to think about it and say it. But I think that pretty much wraps up our WWE Elite Series 101 2-in-1 review on Ricochet and Johnny Knoxville. We have finally completed WWE Elite Series 101. We're officially, I guess, on the road to WWE Elite Series 200 with this wave as we have finally cracked over 100. We're up to 101 now. Truly unbelievable. And I can't wait for it, man. Maybe one day we'll get to Ultimate Edition Series 100. I mean, we're already at almost Ultimate 20. I think it's Ultimate Edition 18 is what we're almost up to. Seth Rollins and Andre are 17. I have a lot of news to release in the next couple days as well, man. Like, there's so many videos I gotta get done, man. It's it's honestly remarkable. Between going to the Royal Rumble and the vlog and a toy hunt I went on while I was there and some news and some surgery and these crazy fan mail unboxings that I have, it is truly an unbelievable week. So bear with me, man. Lots of new stuff coming as well. Again, announcements coming soon on some stuff that you guys may be interested in. So stay tuned, man. But I am getting out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you guys would like to grab these figures, definitely do so. I 
think that Johnny Knoxville is a very fun figure. I think that Ricochet, you know, outside of the Johnny Gargano syndrome, I think he's pretty much perfect. I like the height of the figure. He moves around great. He's on ball joints. He's got the icy title. He's got double jointed arms. He does have Johnny Gargano syndrome, which we're absolutely 1000% going to fix on surgery. He does have pegs on his legs, so it is possible. That is a great thing. We're going to play around with that, do some different surgeries and things like that. But Johnny Gargano syndrome is not something I expected in 2023, but here we are. Sometimes you just got to build bridges and get over things. That's what I do when I get, you know, a, you're faced with a challenge, you got to build a bridge. I mean, that's really all you can do at that juncture. But Johnny Knoxville is a very fun figure. I hate the feet and the, everything like that, but the molds are really unique. Joints are a bit stiff, but once you work through that, I think, you know, you got some good stuff going on. And I, I like the figure, man. I think we got some great stuff here with this, with this set. And I think Elite 101 was actually a damn good set overall. I can't wait to rank this set in the My Damn Thoughts episode coming soon, which is another video I have to do. But thank God that we have videos to make. I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. Appreciate you guys so much. Leave me your thoughts on these figures down below. I'll see you next time. Have a blessed one. You'll never be